But I want to react to uh, KB, Ryan Clark, and Carcino. They went live today, man. Definitely, definitely a, a healthy, great conversation that I think KB needed to hear from another perspective other than, you know, the people that he normally talks to down here, you know what I mean, on these YouTube streets. It's good to it's good to uh, have him hear this from, you know, someone that is respected in the media world, someone that is a current analyst, reporter, uh, and does a hell of a good job doing it too. Ryan Clark. Shout out to Ryan Clark, man. And it's even dope for him to even come on KB's platform to even be open enough to hear what KB has to say and what KB is dealing with. And, you know, just to hear his side of the story and then just hear what the media got to say. Right. Because like Ryan said on his podcast, he was like, yo, I, I had no idea. You you talk this way. I had no idea that you thought this way I, I i had no idea you know i'm just going off of what the media is saying right so there's a large portion of you know people out there that just go off social media and just go off what what uh, people say because i could be one of them and i think 90 percent of us was uh would fall in that category because you know what i mean we were just going off of what was being told off of the media, right? We didn't really hear KB speak until he spoke. You know what I mean? So just like Ryan and everybody else, we was just going off of what Stephen A was saying, what ESPN was saying, what other analysts were saying. So uh, you know, we are we are we are all guilty of that. You know what I mean? I don't think there's nobody exempt from it. I think we was all shocked. We was all surprised when KB actually spoke. We was like, oh, shit. This nigga got some sense. Whether you agree or disagree or, you know, however y'all feel right now. But at the time, you know, when KB came and spoke out, we all was like, what? What? Oh, shit. I ain't know how. I I, I know I, I didn't know. I, I had no idea. You know, you even thought like this. And it was refreshing to hear someone talk like that because <sighs> all you see is these Dwayne Wade type niggas <laughs> I got a video coming up about D-Wade man D-Wade is right but all we hear about all these D-Wade type type <laughs> you know what I mean so it was refreshing to hear someone talk like a man and speak and speak their mind and not go with the agenda and not go with the with the media to try to you know put out on this so it was just refreshing to hear someone of you know his status uh talking how he talking because normally you don't hear especially professional athletes talk like that right because once again they always controlled by somebody they always work for the media so they got to watch what they say they can't really talk how they want to talk because they know if they offend the wrong group they up out of here you know what i mean so uh that's one thing a lot of people was well i wouldn't say a lot of people that's what that's one thing that especially uh the major companies out there was afraid about kb because he wasn't a, attached to nobody can't nobody tell him what to do. And he just exploded out of nowhere and bam. He is, you know what I mean? So this was dope just to hear Ryan Clark take the time out of his day because I'm sure he got a busy day. You know, he he work at ESPN. He does his own podcast. And I'm sure he has a hundred and million thousand things to do on his plate. You know what I mean? So it's, it's definitely dope to uh, see, you know, Ryan took the time out to jump on KB's platform. But the same way that uh, KB jumped on his platform. So this was dope. This was dope. This was dope, man. So I just want to react to it. Uh, get my thoughts. Get my opinions. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it grooving. Shout out to KB. Shout out to Carcino. And shout out to uh, Ryan Clark.
Let's get it popping. Let's get to it. Let go. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. YouTube hating on your boy right now, but that's all right. <clears throat> Milkman gonna milk it. Let's go. Oh, yo, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Right here, I was like, what the f Yo, I gotta be honest. I'm like, KB, what are you doing? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that KB was going this direction. I was like, oh my God. I was like, KB, no. <laughs> I was like, KB, what are you doing? I'm like, oh no, don't, don't introduce this man to the black side of YouTube. I'm like, oh no, KB, don't do it. Don't do it. But I seen what he was doing. I was nervous as fuck. I'm like, oh shit, please don't introduce Ryan to this, to this crazy <laughs> fuckery shit on YouTube. Like these, I'm like, oh Lord, please don't introduce Ryan to these people. He, he don't need to know these people. I'm like, oh Lord, KB, don't do it. Don't do it. But I, but after he played it and then he explained it, I was like, all right. And then playing that got to the real topic in the real situation. But I was nervous right here. I'm like, oh no, KB, no. <laughs> Do not talk about, well, I know he was talking about Gilbert, but <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Please don't introduce these people to this uh, innocent bystander over here. Like, <laughs> Please don't, please don't introduce these innocent well this this innocent bystander over here just 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 let them do them don't don't please don't get ryan into it but after he explained it and everything you know the bigger topic was talked about then i was like okay i get it but i ain't gonna lie but i was nervous right here i was like no don't do it no <laughs> uh but nevertheless he does Hold on, let me see. Let me get you guys back up here. Um, so, guys, we're gonna play this behind the scene. I don't, I don't think I want to have it out front. I just want them to hear the audio. Um, but I mean, the, the things he said. Uh, we we went from talking about trading and coding. We argued mm -hmm. or whatever. But the the stuff that this gentleman is saying, this is what I don't get. So let's play it. But okay, so well, I'm just gonna speak from what I thought KB was doing. KB was just highlighting Gilbert Arena's behavior that Ryan wasn't aware of. And what a lot of people probably that are that that interviewed him because Ryan did an interview with Gilbert, right? So he, he don't know this side of Gilbert, right? So KB is just like putting him on game, like, you know, uh, these dudes that you're interviewing ain't ain't really who you who you think they are. You know, they they be on some other stuff. You know what I mean? So I think that's what the direction he was he was trying to uh, go with. I could be wrong. I'm just, you know, from the outside looking in, I I think that's what KB was trying to do. Casino, but so so my thought on it, and even if we were talking about this, this toxicity that continues to prevail is when you continue to give it energy it's just like any other fire any other flame you give oxygen right if if he continues and no i'm not saying in the sense you don't defend yourself right if if someone has your house address if someone could harm your people if if there is in some way that we are or you are in danger then you got to be a man things have to be said you have to step up you have to defend yourself and you are right to me and anything you do in response to that but like don't like at least in my in, in my thought process i'm not going to give this life i'm not going to give him life because in a sense and i had an opportunity man first of all i mean not first of all kwame i just want to say thank you uh what you did and coming on the pivot man and the lives that i feel like you touched and the perceptions you changed of people who have lied on you or said certain things about you man i'm forever grateful for having an opportunity to be a part of that but you are bigger than this you do have a heart for the community. You do have a thought process that will continue to elevate, but this doesn't elevate it. Replaying what he's saying or playing into that or going back and forth with him, he doesn't have anything else to talk about. You know, so much so, and I can share this, he reached out to us about taking something out of the pivot that was about him. 
And in doing that, in communicating with Channing, he unsends his messages so he can only screenshot what Channing said in response to him reaching out. Oh, wow. To me, that is not a man that is continually worth Damn. your energy. Right. There was Damn. nothing said from Channing's side that's going to dispute that. There is going to be no ongoing beef because he's not worth that energy. But every time you guys come on here and speak on him again, it just gives him something else to go and talk about Thanks. because he's not going to be thoughtful enough, mindful enough, right, um, forward thinking enough to have something else. And even if we are like even now something's probably going to be said about this because they need this energy yep. right they're going to need to be able to say that ryan clark was speaking with mm. kwame and speaking with carcino yep. and he said this about me here's what i think about ryan clark yep right that's how it <laughs> that's it. yo right ryan, ryan is a smart person because he not even on his youtube stuff and that's exactly what they are gonna do right god damn shout out to goddamn ryan right because that's what they, that's what they that's what they gonna do right now right 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 trust me if they're not doing it right now they're gonna do it tomorrow they're gonna make videos and they're gonna start talking about ryan now so he not even on this you know petty stuff that we be on and he can he can already see the play right he can already see the play right now and one thing i hope kb really really listen to is what 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 Ryan says, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just need to hear it from somebody that's not us. You know what I'm saying? Someone that's in a different field, someone that's more respected in what he does, in his craft, you know what I mean? Um, I know KB has heard this from everybody. I think I even made... I even told KB this in the beginning when he was going back and forth with Skinny. I'm like, man, yo, KB, just just don't talk about Skinny, bro. Just 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 let Skinny do Skinny. Don't even feedback to it. So I know I said I've I've mentioned this in the past, and I'm sure people have told him this too. You know what I mean? But I really hope that he listens to Ryan. Just just, just I know. KB likes to roast and he, he likes to come back and stuff like that. But as long as KB keep talking about him, they are going to keep talking about him. But the thing is, is uh, even, even if KB don't talk about him, they still going to talk about him, right? They, they still going to talk about KB re regardless, even if he responds or, or even if he don't, but responding to it gives them more fuel because they can always say, ha, you see, he's talking about me. Ha, right here. He said my name. Ha. So that gives them justification on why they doing what they're doing. Because they know that KB is going to respond back. But if you don't respond back at all, that's just going to make them look just crazy, right? If, if, if you don't say nothing to them at all, it's just going like... People gonna be like, come on, man. Like, he ain't even talking about y'all no more. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully he does listen to Ryan, but I I know KB likes this beef stuff, right? KB, KB likes to roast. You know what I mean? KB likes to roast. KB, KB like to go back and forth, but he doesn't enjoy the dark side of YouTube. You know what I mean? People, people take it too far. People bring up his family. People, you know, bring up just unnecessary stuff, right? Um, the 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 same way that I am, I don't mind the back and forth. You know what I mean? As long as it don't get too dark, like I don't mind going back and forth and roasting and stuff like that. But when it get too dark, I'm like, all right, bro, you got it. I, ain't, you, you know what I mean? So, um, but you know, Ryan is giving some good good uh um advice to kb so you know hopefully hopefully kb can you know hear him out and just and just try his best just to stay focused stay focused stay focused you know what i mean but i know how tempting it is just to you know what i mean you just want to get your lick back you know what i mean so uh but 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 ryan is is that <laughs> he's he's hitting the nail right on the button He's he's saying everything that needs to be said. And I think KB needs to hear it from someone like Orion. You know what I mean? So 
I respect Ryan for even, you know, come on the platform and saying that. So, salute to Ryan. That's how it's going to work. And what I'm saying is, I don't even know Gil. I have no beef with Gil. I don't care what he says. I don't care what he does. But y'all got to get to the point where y'all don't either because you have so much more to offer and that's not something y'all want to be a, or at least feel y'all want to be a part of going forward but if we do this and continue to give it life he's going to be right back with more sometimes you have to ignore ignorance you just do well let me let me explain while i'm why i'm doing this because i take i think that the media turns a blind eye and they protect certain people mm -hmm. um and it's easy to ignore what's on the internet but it's a different story when guys are yelling out street names to my house and they're on the side yep, of my house right. and they're taking drone footage mm -hmm. and they're taking pictures of me at my car, <laughs> hey, taking true. pictures of me inside restaurants, they're following me to DC. Yeah. And so crazy. I want the narrative to be out there so that if I have to hurt someone, mm. I know the event that they're trying to set up. It's no coincidence that Charlemagne the guy went on the Breakfast Club within one day of this whole conversation and read out a family history like that and then said i almost snapped over basketball without a conversation they know i'm going to defend myself against anybody who tries to do something to me mm. i wouldn't give a hill of beans if gilbert arenas is just running his mouth on the internet mm. the off the internet sneaky stuff and then hiding and saying well i'm not bothering Kwame brown he's jealous of me that's why i'm doing what i'm doing the media on his side needs to know and i think it's a bigger conspiracy than that because had they saw kwame brown spit on somebody at the 49ers game i probably would have been arrested for assault it's mm -hmm. a double standard in media uh and they, they they seem to only want the i think i seen something on social media where i seen that the dude that matt Barnes spit on i think he's suing them now hold on um i think i seen an article on on the internet saying that Matt Barnes is being sued by the guy that he spit on. Let me see. Uh, I think I seen. I think I seen. Let's see, Matt Barnes sued. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. So that. So the uh, yeah. You see right here, NBA. Uh, NBA champ sued by fiance's ex-husband after allegedly spat, spitting on him at the 49ers game. Yeah, so he's allegedly getting sued right now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, something's going to happen on that. Black men that perpetuate a cycle of violence. Steven Jackson is on a podcast almost 50 years old. He's almost fighting at a boxing arena. He's alleging that he's attached to gang members. He's talking. All of them talk the same stupid talk. When Gilbert and, and Jack tried to pick on me, what did they laugh about? He had security in L.A. So, like, I, it's this it's this mentality that they're basketball players and street dudes at the same time. Which one are they going to be? That's not I pride myself on not being a killer of my community. Am I above putting these up and fighting another man to get an understanding? No. Am I above any man that have an issue? We ironing it out? No. But what they bring to the table and what they say is that we can have other men do certain things and one week of talking with Stephen Jackson they've been talking about me for 20 years if you go look at the interview that he had he said Kwame's mad at me because uh Jenny Buss brought up a trade and I said he was sorry we all have been talking about him for 20 years well okay I only been talking about them for a week at the time and he wanted to play in traffic so these are the things that's wrong with our community and it needs to be highlighted we have NBA players NFL players Black men, we can't tell those police officers. We can't tell if these are men or these are everyday street thugs. Why don't we mention and bring up behavior of all of these males? Yeah, I think some the first part about that is a lot of times people don't care, right? The Stephen Jackson dust up at the boxing match. I can say I can say this: if I'm somewhere with my wife and there is some sort of commotion, my wife becomes my first thought, right? Okay. Protect, protecting her and whatever that means. If that means being someone that you see as a coward and grabbing my wife and running because I don't even want her around, around it, I don't want her to catch a stray, I can't defend myself and her, then that's what we gonna do. Uh -huh. If it's, and you know, Kwame and Carcino, if it's throwing hands right there because I feel like I have to, that's what I'm going to do. So in that situation, 
I don't necessarily, I can't say that I don't have a reaction that seems aggressive or that is violent. I can't, I don't know what I'll do in that situation. I think the, the thing that's most important is we have to, in our ages, right? And in a way that we're trying to affect the community, we do have to watch the things that we, um, the things that we praise, the things that we put on the pedestal, the the fact that a lot of us grew up a certain way or grew up in certain communities, and we worked extremely hard to get out of those communities. Now, do we want to go back and pour into them? Absolutely. But we knew we didn't want to live that way the rest of our lives. We knew that our parents or we knew that our uncles or our mentors sacrificed certain things so we could be different, right? And, and two, if you grew up in the right neighborhood, the, the dope boys or the real OGs, they tried to protect you. Yes, they did. You feel Facts. me? Like they didn't they didn't want you in that. And so I don't I don't think that at our age and where we are, that's anything we should ever praise as if that's the way out. When you look at something like what happened to Tyree Hill, Tyree, I'm sorry, Tyree Nichols. I'm sorry, in, in, intertwining football and freaking police brutality right now. Tyree Nichols was killed by five brothers who were on a task force that was set up to protect the hood. Mm -hmm. Right. Part of the name was to bring it's, it's, it's Scorpion and it's peace in our neighborhoods. That Yo, um, one thing that I said in KB chat about that whole situation, like that seemed like it was a like a training day movie. You know what I'm saying? Like if y'all watch training day, I'm 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 sure y'all seen training day. Like that's what that. That's what that that's what that group of people was like. They was like. Denzel on training day. You know what I'm saying? Like that was, I think that's a fair, you know what I mean? A saying of what those, what that group was, you know, they like, I bet you they, they knew all the drug dealers. They know who was doing who, who was selling what, what, what gang is this and what gang is that? You know what I mean? So that was like some training day type, type stuff that was, that actually happened played out in real life, which was unfortunate. That's what the last four letters mean, right? And it's and it's that type of, we got to be hard, we got to be gangster, we got to be this, we got to be that. That's tearing our communities down anyway. Facts. You know, and so for, for, for me, I don't, I'm, I'm like you, Kwame, I mean, I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, I have no problem with these. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter where it is, I bet on me, right? Right. But I'm also, I'm not threatening nobody with that. Exactly. I'm and that's, that's the point that I'm trying to make. That's the point that we're trying to make. It's like when when I just said something in response to them, the first thing they responded back with, let's play in traffic, let's box. So it's like, who's the sensitive one? If I've been talked about for 20 years, my response has never been, let's box, let's fight. So I just want to dispel this narrative uh, that I see continuously put out that, oh, without people even knowing me, I thought you was violent or I thought you was this. It's just a different perspective because I was raised that words, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words don't hurt. And I even said in the beginning what I was doing. <laughs> and I did take your advice. Uh, other boy KB put out a, a, a old school sticks and stones. Remember? <laughs> Shout out to KB for pulling out the goddamn <laughs> elementary rhymes. I think KB pull out the elementary rhymes on their ass. That boy said sticks and stones may break my bones. Shout out to KB. And I think he was right. I do not curse as much on my on my main page. I don't do it mm -hmm. uh, because if, if, if that's what's going to make them not hear the message um, when I'm trying to just get them to bring the shame back and see this is what our culture has fell in love with. Mm -hmm. Every time I go to a bar, it's songs that you'd be like, whoa, and it's Christian women. It's people that are school teachers. It's everybody. This is the poison that we listen to going to bars with negative energy from the music. If the devil uses the music, why are we listening to that type of music? So I brought that to the Internet because I knew that with an athlete doing it because I knew that they, they didn't let Kobe Bryant come out with his rap song. Cino told me about that. I knew about Allen Iverson trying mm -hmm. to come out with a rap CD. They didn't let him come out because it's not for the image of a basketball player, but they don't care about black men as a whole because you can see what the rap music in that culture is doing to us as a whole. If it's bad for an athlete to do, it should be bad for a rapper to do. I think, and so th here's the question I would ask both of you is, is this. I think, and Kwame, you spoke about it on the show, saying that you were working at 14, 15 years old, and you're working with grown men, grown men smoking cigs, cussing, all these things. I, I do feel like, you know, aside from the rappers that are acting, because everybody ain't like that, that 
right? right. Like, like, let's be real. X. Um, I, I do feel like sometimes they're just talking about either lives that they've lived, neighborhoods they've grown up in, or the lives of the people that are close to them. It right? used to be like that. Now they're yeah. rapping about actual murders. Right. And, and, and so and so okay. and so in that though, it's not it's not the it's not the music to me. It's the actual people, mm -hmm. right? That because for for me, for instance, right? I'm not if I was to rap or whenever I'm to get a message across, I'm not gonna act like the biggest, baddest man, or I'm not gonna criticize some somebody for something that I've done because I'm not gonna be no hypocrite. Right. I'm going to talk about my life. Like if somebody's like, yeah, you know, I'll shoot you. Well, I'm going to have to be honest. Well, I'm going to have to get shot because I ain't got no gun. You know what I mean? Like I'm not here. And so I think that what's happening is we you you made you said something on our show, man, that really stuck with me. You were talking about school programs and after school programs. And you said you still got to send them home. Yeah. And you got to clean up the neighborhoods. You got to clean up the mm -hmm. household. Mm -hmm. To me, it's not about our, our the, the the music. To me, it's about our household. Mm, it's about I, I did that part. Today. That that part right there. <laughs> that part right. That's what a lot of people don't understand. It's it's not necessary the music. Like I listen to rap music, right? I heard all that game banging stuff and all that you know selling dope and all, all that stuff, but. I didn't do it because my parents raised me not to do it, right? Like I had a mom and a dad that that taught me this is not the way you want to go. And I also learned from my brothers because they was in that lifestyle and they, you know, they were in and out of jail. So I didn't want to be like them either. So I had I had uh brother figures to learn from their mistakes. Uh, to know that that's not the lifestyle for me, right? Uh, I learned through my brothers and through my parents and stuff like that. So it's it's not just the rap music, you know what I mean? I don't want to blame everything just on the rap music. It's just, you know, um, but even, even if your parents even parent you the right way, sometimes kids, they just go off and do their own thing, you know what I mean? So I can't say everybody is, is the same way because... You can raise your child the perfect way. You can monitor them. You can pay attention. You can teach them. And they can still drift off and be whoever they want to be. If they want to go strip at the dance club, that, that's what they're going to do. You know what I mean? So um, it's not just one thing. It's a lot of different factors. But, um, you know, I don't think that you can just blame it on one thing like it's not just the music it's not just the parents it's just a lot of different factors that really uh push people to go a certain direction you know what i mean um some people just get caught into that and don't realize that it's just music right i learned from a long time ago this is just music <laughs> you know what i mean i'm not going to do something just because i'm hearing tupac say hit them up you know what I mean? I'm not about to go to the club and bust a nigga head open because I hear head buster. You know my head buster. Like, I just enjoy the music for what it is, for the tunes, for the melody, but I don't let it control me, right? Because, uh, you know, that's that's one thing that my father always told me. Be control of your own actions. Be, be in control of your own emotions. Uh, don't let people control your emotions, right? So, you know... That was installed into me from from a little kid, and I think that really, really, really stuck into me because I still remember it, and I still apply that now. So it's just a lot of different factors, but music is a powerful tool. You know what I mean? Music is a very powerful tool, and I'm not going to just downplay like music don't have to do anything with it. It does, in a sense. But you just got to be smart enough. Some people just, I don't know. Some people just not smart. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's a lot of different things, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I can keep talking and talking about it. But yeah, some people are just gullible. Some people just, some people just not smart. Some people just not bright, you know? Sometimes we just got to be honest. You know, some people just, they're just not there, you know? It is what it is.